Hey, what's up everybody? It's Austin here with Dreamcatcher Guides, Dreamcatcher's Fish and Supply, hanging out in the shop. Just got back, can you see a little sun? Got a little sun today. Just getting back from a guide trip where, of course, we threw around a big bait a little bit, a Japanese swim bait specifically. We'll get into it. I'll show you uh, the film when I start talking about the swim bait. But today I wanna to talk about my three favorite Japanese swim baits. And here's the deal. There's some that I don't like. I'll go through and tell you why they're not necessarily my favorite. But today I'm gonna to go through my three favorites and talk about why I like them and the action uh, that they have and how I utilize them and really like just why I love them. So, for, and these are in no particular order, so you know, don't get spaced out. But anyways, my first one is a Deps DEPS 250. By the way, we carry everything that I'm gonna be talking about in Dreamcatcher's Fishing Supply. So a Deps DEPS 250, this is an OG. You can tell it's an OG because it has a resin body. The new ones are injected plastic. They take two halves and epoxy them together essentially. But this is one of my favorites. This is a custom brown trout pattern that I've personally painted up. Uh, absolutely love it. It's caught so many big fish. But the thing I love about Adepts is how smooth it swims. You get a lot of swim baits uh, that have kind of a choppy action, which I like because those choppy actions really trigger reaction strikes. But the thing I love about Adepts 250 is it has just a very, very smooth glide. The other thing is it stays very, very vertical where you get a lot of glide baits that kind of want to do this head tilt down and then they head tilt down like a Gan Craft, which is another one of my favorites, but and I'm gonna go over it in a second. But this bait stays very, very vertical. It does not roll at all on its side. And because it stays so vertical, you can take it and twitch it real hard and it has that quick side to side profile when you're twitching. When those fish get up behind it, I really like taking that bait and twitching it side to side. And that's really what's gonna target or uh, trigger those fish to eat it. But I like this bait when the fishing is either really, really tough, like it's really hard to get bites and you say like, why, why do you like it then? Because it's such a big bait. Like there's so many fish that their lives revolve around efficiency. So like dead heat of the summer, when you're just fishing and you're like, golly, it's so hard to get bit. A lot of times a big bait like a Depths 250 will trigger a bite because they're like, oh, that's more bang for my buck. I'm gonna expend uh, less energy to get one meal than spend so much energy to get a bunch of little thread fin shad or herring or whatever. So I really like a big Depths 250 middle of the summer, and I really like a Depths 250 in water temperature really between 55 and 70 degrees. When I'm out there wanting to hunt and target the biggest bass in the lake, I'm gonna throw a Depths 250 a lot of guys get wigged out by colors. I tell people, as long as it looks natural, and let me tell you something, like every color they make looks extremely natural and absolutely gets bit, but the bait is extremely durable. Uh, the reason why it has such a smooth swim too also is because it has a silicone skin around it. So like the, that silicone skin actually like absorbs when it's gliding, it absorbs. So the tail kind of, it kind of folds and then, and then goes, you know, it just, it has a very, very smooth swimming action and uh, absolutely gets bit. The Depths 250 is like one of the, one of the most iconic big swim baits of like ever. So this bait, 100%, we have them in the shop, absolutely gets chewed. Call us, we can get you Depths 250s. They're amazing. One of the best Japanese swim baits of all time. Three pounder. Three pounder on the depths. OG Psycho Natural Trail. So the next one I'm gonna talk about is the Gancraft. This is a Magnum Jointed Claw 230. Uh, this bait, instead of staying very vertical, it has some kind of horizontal tilt. So when it glides, it kind of goes down like this and then glides back. And it really, really looks like a spastic 
crazy swimming bait fish. And uh, the thing I love about this bait is when it's really, really cold, like colder as in like maybe like low, uh, not maybe the low 50s and then the, really the high 40s, this bait absolutely gets bit. And why it gets bit is because it has that sharp, sharp cut where that, that depth is very smooth. This bait is like glide, turn glide, turn glide. And those little sharp cuts are absolutely what get bit. They create a reaction strike. So as those fish, as that bait is kind of gliding down and gliding down, that's when those fish absolutely maul this thing. It's an extremely durable bait. That was one thing I was gonna say about the Depths 252. Another thing I'm gonna say about the Gancraft. Although this is an injected plastic mold bait, unbelievably durable. I have customers absolutely beat the slam tar out of these things and I've never had one bust. You'll get some of the 178s to bust. And by the way, I really like both both styles in the smaller version. So like the Depths 175 and the Gancraft Joint of Claw 178. Uh, they're both great. I really like throwing those bigger baits. Obviously, I'm targeting uh, a bigger caliber of fish. And trust me when I tell you, I get plenty of two pound to three pound tournament size bites on these bigger baits. So the Gancraft is a beast. It's durable. It also has a faster sink rate. So where that depth's 250, you can tune it, right? There's weights in the belly here and then there where my pinky is. There's Where there's weights there, you can tune it to get it to be a real, like a float a very, very slow sink or even a fast sink. The Gancraft, how it comes just naturally, it is a very fast sinking swim bait. I mean, it it really gets down there. So I really like, if I'm always presenting a bait, and here's the deal, I love fishing a glide bait where it's visual, like less than four foot of water, throwing it out there and where I'm watching the action, watching the fish's body language, I love it. But the Gancraft, truthfully, it sinks faster. So if there's a big brush pile or a tree that I know out on a point, or maybe like a, a big old lay down or stump field or something out in deeper water, I'll let the Gancraft get down. I, I count it down maybe three, four, five, you know, even 10 Mississippi. It's going to achieve some depth. And although it's going to come up, you know, while you're reeling it, the trajectory of that bait's gonna kind of be coming towards the top. It gets down there fast, which means I can make more casts, I can cover more water, more casts, more water means more bites. So the Gancraft's an absolute beast, one of the best Japanese swim baits ever. Once again, keep it natural. I like this color, it looks like everything. It looks like a bass, it's called uh, Ja Ayu. Uh, but anyways, it looks like a bass, looks like a herring, looks like a shad, trout, whatever. from the boat. Oh my god. That's dude. a hammer dog right there oh. everyone. <laughs> Konnichiwa. On the Dan Craft baby. Uh, the third best Japanese swim bait without question. Division Rebels Tackle Clash baits. This is the Clash 9 and the Working Class 0. Uh absolutely beast. This is I think the color is called the Joy Thief. But the reason I really like this bait is it's such a versatile bait. There, it, it has three different lips you can put in it. It has a couple different tails. So, you know, I don't know the multiplier there, like three times, like 18 baits in one. So it's a really, really unique bait, but the, it's super versatile. The thing I really love about this bait is uh, every action that it has, whether whatever bill is in it, whatever tail is in it, every action is a very sharp, tight, quick action. And that absolutely drives the bass crazy. So where that Gancraft, you know, kind of glides like this and that depth glides like this, this thing in glide mode is like, it's like a big walking bait. It just turns on itself. It's like a nine inch walking bait. And uh, now you can get it to glide, like switch it and glide. It takes some time getting used to it. It took, honestly, out of all these baits, it probably took me the most time to get used to a DRT Clash 9 and a DRT Tiny Clash because they're so fluid. I mean, like, look at the, 
look at the the bend in the joint comparison like this bait is just absolutely wild but like i said whether the bill is in it or the bill's out of it and you're using it in glide mode you can really really do tons of things with this bait so with the with it in glide mode and tail down so you can kind of see the angle that tail's facing down it'll stay very very vertical where if i take that tail and flip it up and put it in glide mode it'll it'll kind of want to go horizontal and it's tighter so it's a super versatile bait it's multiple baits in one absolutely gets smashed and uh man just a just a great bait <laughs> Dang six pounder. But we carry all these baits at Dreamcatcher's Fishing Supply. Call us 828-354-0250. Excited to help you. Want to see you catch some giant bass on a swim bait? Absolutely. Anyways, holler at us, subscribe to our videos. Thanks for watching.